Hello, it's Wednesday, uh, May the 25th, and we're in 1 Peter chapter 3, beginning at verse 8 through 17. Uh, and this is a very famous passage, well-known passage, in which Peter uses the Greek word apologia, uh, or apology. And apology not in the contemporary sense, but apology in uh, the old sense of giving a reason uh, for the hope that lies within us with uh, meekness and godly fear. And the context in which Peter is uh, uh, suggesting uh, that we always live uh, with a, uh, an opportunity to give the, a reason for the hope that lies within us is, of course, um, suffering, and suffering for uh, righteousness' sake. Peter is writing this just a few years before the Nero persecution in, in Rome, uh, three, four years from the writing of this epistle, Peter himself, of course, will be crucified upside down uh, in Rome roughly at the same time, though probably not on the same day, uh, as uh, the Apostle Paul. Notice in this section three things as you read it and study it today. Uh, there's a call in verse 9 uh, to imitate Christ. Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you were called that you may obtain a blessing. And there are um, intimations of the Sermon on the Mount uh, and Jesus' sermon uh, in the, that verse. Secondly, notice uh, in verse 13, now who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? And, and what he is saying is that if you are living in union and communion with Christ, at the end of the day, you are safe. No, no matter what trial may come, no matter what difficulty, um, you are safe in the arms of Jesus. And then in verses 15 and following, um, suffering gives you an opportunity to witness to others. Too often, I think, when we suffer trials, we want to complain about them and gripe about them, and we want to have a pity party. And when we do that, we are not displaying a Jesus likeness for sure. But we're also um, failing uh, an opportunity to let others know that being a Christian actually means something, and it means something in particular when we're in trial. So uh, I trust as you read this uh, lengthier section of 1 Peter 3, 8 through 17, uh, that you'll be blessed today. We're back tomorrow in verse 18, a very difficult passage, but for now, have a wonderful day.